Hi, everybody. Um, these are going to be supplies that you're going to need to get on your own with uh, the exception of the paste, finishing wax, and the soft wax by Annie Sloan. What I did was I went ahead and went to Home Depot and got the Min Wax Paste Finishing Wax in the light, the natural. Instead of buying Annie Sloan's for 25 I just bought, for my clear, I just bought the Min Wax. It works great. I love it. Um, it's $15 less. Annie Sloan Dark Soft Wax. You can also get CC Caldwell. Um, you can get them online. You can find out where the stores are in your local area that you can pick them up, antique shops, etc. Um, you need the Dark, Annie Sloan, or CC Caldwell. Then you're going to need a Dremel or a Dremel type tool with a sanding tool on the end an attachment because we're going to be using that when we remove paint. You're going to need to go and get yourself some E6000 clear glue. That's at Walmart, um, Michaels, Home Depot, etc. I like to get it at Walmart because it's about a dollar to two dollars less. You're going to need latex gloves. I like to get them in a uh, box of about 200 for six dollars at Costco. I always have those on hand. For any members that are new, I know I have a lot of new members for April for the crown. Um, I want you to collect as many clamps as you can. You just want to have a, like a hundred of them on hand just for all the projects that you're going to be using, you know, just from day to day when you're creating, creating things to sell for your home, whatever. Um, you're going to need 16 to 20 of the little ones for this project and you're going to need eight medium sized you're go there's no exception, you have to have them. Uh, the project won't work if you don't. You're going to need clean cotton cloths. I like to get them in a big bag uh, at, at uh, Home Depot in the paint department. They cost, I think it's like six to eight dollars, I can't remember. I also cut up fabric, but that's me. Um, you're going to need at least three paint brushes, a large one, uh, medium sized and a smaller, you know, half inch to three quarter inch to an inch. Um, three sizes. I like to use um, nylon bristle because they're the softest and they do the best uh, finish. And once you have all these things, you guys, you're going to be ready to begin your project. I have sent you in your pack some soft wax and some uh, and the dark and the light, but you're going to, it's probably a good idea to get both of them yourself just to have a large um, supply of them because the, 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 the possibilities are endless of what you can do with these paste, these wax. I, I love them. You can use them on anything um, from home decor to jewelry to anything. I love it. It's great. So anyway, um, these are the things you need and let's get started. All right, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our crown. Um, if there's any green left on it, I live at the beach, and this is what happens within hours. It doesn't matter if my windows are closed, the grass starts turning green. You want to go and wash it off. I mean, you don't have to but because it will come through, but I like it. But you can wash it off. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your light color of acrylic paint that I sent you in your kit. It's, you're either going to have a, a linen color or a dark ivory, you know, it doesn't matter which one. And we're going to paint the entire crown all over it, cover up the soldering, the inside of your, of your crown I want you to paint. I want you to paint the whole thing. Not a super thick coat, just a great, a nice coat, you know. Um, the entire thing until it's completely covered. It's going to take you a little while because you want to get every single bit of the brass and the solder completely covered. I'm just dabbling it in, if you can see how I'm doing it. And uh, take your time, get the edges, watch TV, listen to a book, do something. Anyway, um, once your entire crown is covered, I'm calling this your primer. It's just acrylic paint, but it's a primer. What you're going to do once your entire crown is covered and dry, you can see, I'm even covering the solder. You want to cover the solder, it's ugly. 
and there really was no nice way to do it um, unless I used silver gleam solder and I just couldn't do it. It was, I can't do it, it's just, no. So anyway, I used a great solder, um, it's $26 if any of you solder. And uh, I soldered it together and we're gonna cover this whole entire thing like I'm doing. See, I'm just covering the green. The green is going to come through. But I don't care. I like it. You don't have to like it. You can wash it off. Because once you wash it off and then you put the primer on it, the white acrylic or linen acrylic, it's going to cover it. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this whole thing, but you guys are artists, so you know what to do. Anyway, once we've done this and the entire crown is covered, what I want you to do is go and turn your oven on to 200 degrees. Once it's at heat level that you want it, 200 degrees, I want you to put your crown in there and I want you to leave your crown in there for an hour at 200 degrees. You might start smelling it, that's okay. Keep the windows open and then make sure you have oven mitts and you take it out and let it completely cool. So we'll come back and revisit the crown once you guys have cooked your crown. That is what we're gonna do. It's going to make sure that the paint cures to the brass. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to put it outside or wait for 30 to 60 days because a spray primer is not gonna work, trust me. And you don't wanna use a spray primer that goes and adheres to metal simply because it's not gonna stay immediately and you don't wanna put that kind of paint in the oven. So we're just going to put the acrylic on it, we're going to put it in there for an hour, we're going to take it out, and the paint should be cured enough to the brass we can start our project. Now, I also want you guys to take all of your brass pieces now that your crown is painted and cooked. And I want you to do the same thing with your brass pieces that you did with your crown. I want you to paint them all up with your primer, acrylic paint, it's really acrylic paint. And then, you know, don't put too thick of a coat. It's not going to stick that well, so let it dry before you turn them over. Same thing with your roses. I want you to get in all the crevices on your rows so you'll be able to paint it the pink later on. Now on your roses, I don't want you to paint the back, all the back. Leave a place, the center, without your primer because we're going to be putting E6000 glue on there and we don't want to have to remove the primer like we will on other parts. So this is a lot easier. So just make sure you get your primer on your roses, except for in the back part where we're gonna put the glue. Let them dry. Same thing goes for the tiny ones. Prime them up, but not in the center where we're gonna glue them. Just get them completely covered. And when they're done, we're going to bake those for an hour. Once this side of you, the first side, but before we do, go and put them in the oven. Wait for the top of your base pieces to dry, and then do the back, and then paint the back. Now we are going to come back to these bases once the, they've already been, the primer's already done. You don't have to do the very center because there's going to be glue there and we're going to be taking more glue off. But you do want primer on the back simply because there will be parts of it showing that you're going to paint. Once those are all painted, you're going to take those just like you did your crown and you're gonna bake them at 200 degrees for an hour.
Now, since your crown and all your brass pieces are completed from being baked in the oven, what we're going to do is I'm going to use, first I'm going to use this little bending tool right here. I get it at Michael's. It's at $4.99. You should always have one. Uh, you might be able to bend these probably with your fingers, but I just like to use these because sometimes you can cut yourself on the brass. So what I've done here is I've bent this one to fit right here because I want it to lay like that so that it can glue and it can adhere, adhere properly. So I've bent it up right here like that just so that it fits. And then over here, in between these, I want to take another one and I'm going to turn it upside down. And I want that to lay nicely on there. So I'm going to bend it on the sides a little so that it lays right flush with the crown base because when you glue it you want it to be laying nicely because once it's painted you don't want a huge gap or anything. You can do it up high, you can come lower, it, it just depends on where you want. The more brass to brass you have the better um, it's going to adhere. So that seems to fit pretty nicely. After we've done that we're going to take our Dremel tool. Like I said, this is a cheesy one, but it works. So if you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on a Dremel and invest some money in that, then you can get these for $9.99. So what I'm going to do with this is, and I have a sanding attachment on it, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to go where I know that the brass is going to touch the brass, and I'm going to sand it so that it has parts of the, the brass coming through so that that's going to really help the E6000 glue to adhere. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do that right now, I'm going to sand it. So this one's going to go here. So it's going to come up about to there. I'm going to go ahead and sand it. to be, so basically the center right here, I've left this, no, no paint right there, which is good, and then I'm just going to go right here and down right here, and I'm going to take off some paint. Just be patient, it might take a little while, but that's good. brush attachment if you want rather use that than this. They're called a cleaning attachment where you get your Dremel. I like this the cleaning attachment. So then I'm going to go 